Here's a comedy-centric moment. And uh, I, I had regulars, you know, every day. What the, what what we now we now call alcoholics. Alcoholics. Oh. Yes. Right. Um, back then we just said regulars. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's just like Cheers. Right. <laughs> totally. And this guy said to me that was just so. He said, um, "I saw a comic on." Uh, HBO last night and he's not even he wasn't even as good as you are here with us all day every day because I was the Monday through Friday through um, happy hour gal uh, lunch through happy hour Um, because I like that crowd because it is it's alcoholics and businessmen you know (laughs) and um, so he said this and he goes why don't you ever try stand up and at the time between being, and I was a member of ACT UP and Queer Nation and the Lesbian Avengers and all that stuff, right? And I was, this is New York. It was like, it was now 1989. And he's telling me this and he kept coming in like every other day talking to me about, why don't you just do stand up? And finally I turned to him and I said, what am I going to do? Get up on stage all of a sudden, start talking about some boyfriend or husband. And he goes, well, I, no, I guess, well, can't you just talk about being a lesbian the way you do here all day, every day, we always have to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> all lesbian all the time. All lesbian all the time. And um, all, and I, so I thought, yeah. And then, so I decided to do it. It was, an a, it was an activism though. I was doing it. I didn't think I'd ever make a living. I didn't think I'd ever continue doing it. I was gonna do it till they, I assumed, made me stop. I was gonna tell funny stories that, but that made, change the world for for gay people were you doing it in the in the the top Clubs. three any, any of the top three catch strip or oh, catch is the first one that passed me wow. okay yeah they were my they were my home club was that lewis that passed you yes okay wow oh gosh we're going way back now the way uh, back well, he went yeah. over to caroline's he was working at caroline's and i worked at caroline's a lot she was yeah. wonderful to us she in fact took me to Gloria Steinem's 60th birthday party at the waldorf Astoria. Wow. And it, How was that? It was amazing because, you know, she had bought a big table. And see, she had her personal friends, but she asked me. Um, Caroline was, or Gloria Stein? Caroline Hirsch. Okay. Yeah. Caroline mm-hmm. asked me to come because um, she just wanted her table to be girls. And, I mean, I, it was like 1992. I mean, and I was so – I'm in the Waldorf Astoria for Gloria Steinem's birthday with the owner. That's I the met pinnacle. Barbara Walters. That's the pinnacle of, you know, I, everything. Yeah. So, and and ev- so everything happened very fast. It's like, um, I I did it out of activism. Like lesbians are people too. Homos are fine. Stop hitting us. Stop, fo- you know, stop firing us, right? And because I had always used jokes to get that across, in all the other things I was doing, that's what I did when I did stand up. And I just kept waiting for a time when they would say, you're not allowed to do it anymore because you're gay. And instead, I was making my living doing it in less than two years. 